All right, this is, the, this is a move called the Assassin. And I always tell a story when I do this when I camp because it's kind of the ultimate camp story. I actually learned this move in like 1996. That it was like a Greco camp or something. I don't even remember. Anyways, I uh, didn't use it forever. In 2006, I'm having this issue because I, I'm pinning so many people and I'm mostly doing cradles and hammer locks where I put the arm on the back. And so they're getting down in this type of position right here. If you see where Nick's at. And obviously in this position, very hard to get his wrist. Very hard to cradle him when he's flat. And so I was getting super frustrated. Why can't I freaking pin anyone in this? Because pinning was my thing. Um, and so, you know, I was thinking through my head, you know, what in the heck could I do to a person in this position to pin them? And I thought of this move I learned in 1996. And so I was telling kids like, listen, I might teach you this move today. And you might not even use it this year. You might not use it the next year. But I learned a freaking move in 1996. And I didn't start using it till 2006. And it became one of my, literally one of my best moves. And now obviously it's became all the rage in high school and college wrestling. Everyone's using the assassin. But I remembered a move for a decade, you know, remembered it in my head. Um, and that became a super influential move in my wrestling style. And so you never know when you learn something at camp is so important to remember stuff because you never know when you're going to bring it back and use it. Okay. So he's nice and flat like this. Um, trying to stall mostly. So what I would do, I slide up. So I block this arm up high. I was in freestyle. It's extra easy too because they're putting that arm out there. Slide my arm in as deep as it goes. I lock. I do it on my fingers so I'm not that flexible with my shoulders. And I do one big pull and step at the same time. So I go step and pull, both at the same time. Now that pull got his chest turned right there, which is what I want. This stops him from turning his hips. Now I just punch my head down, flip my hips over, right there. When I get him right where I want to, boom, I put the hammer down on him. Okay, so one more time with the assassin. Uh, Mix <coughs> flat. I'm deep here. Okay, at the same time, I'm gonna go pull and step. Drive my head down, walk, 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 when he's right perfect, boom, I bury my hips down, get the ball. That lock, that lock goes up in his armpit? Yeah, so the lock's in his armpit, I put my arm as deep as I can. Get, and I use, like I said, I use a finger lock, my shoulders aren't super flexible. Um, some kids with long arms can get away with locking here, but most people are gonna need to lock, you know, on their fingers mm -hmm. here. Because you really, you know, lots of things, you want them as tight as possible. On this one, you need space, because your body's gonna travel right before you really start yanking them. You're gonna take a big step and move and go around them and then boom, and then you're gonna yank. So your lock's kind of loose. It's loose and then it tight, it, yeah, you'll see obviously it tightens up. All right, can you do uh, one more? Yep, one more time. <clears throat> Extra tight for Nick. Okay, so it's, yep, it's, if you can see my, I go as deep as I can, my hand's all the way over here. Okay, lots of space in it in the beginning because I need to move, pull and step. Walk, walk, walk. Turn my hip, put him flat. Good night. Good night.